Vicka Boys or Sway and King Tut? Damn, Eric V is in the GGL too. He played with me. He and my crew. They all listen, buddy. I'm gonna go with Baker Boys, cuz. I'm going with that Latino culture. F off. Baker Boys. Boys. Baker Boys. Baker Boys. Baker Boys. I don't have headphones, okay? I'm doing Bro, no headphones. Oh, it's been like four weeks. Uh, that intro is tight as fuck, Adrian said. Hey, yeah, love. Thank you, bro. Out. Appreciate you, man. I've been putting a lot of work behind the scenes, bro. I'm over here working my ass off over here. Uh, random drug test for me today. Good luck, bro. You need to buy some pee for me? I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Frank B pick. Did I take that? I was there for, for sure. Probably. Who knows, bro? Man, thank you. Hope you're doing well, bro. We got to talk. I'm going to hit you today. All right, here we go. Baker Buzz, you and me, Ari? Yep, let's go. Let's do it, Eric V. All right. Let's go. It's a Feel Good Friday with the Baker Boys Daily. Eric V, Nick V, and Ari Rose. And coming up, what do we got? Well, OJ Simpson passed away yesterday morning at 76 following battle with cancer. Wow, did not know that was yeah. happening. Pharrell Williams just dropped a surprise new album. Mm. But surprise, you're not going to be able to stream it. We'll tell what? you. What? <laughs> wow. That was surprise. Yeah, surprise, yeah. surprise. Yeah, it's the Baker Boys Daily starts right now. Feel Good Friday. Let's get it in. What? Shout out to Break Beat, Break Beat Lou checking in as well on IG, man. I know, but we're recording ahead, A-Love. We record Friday show today, and we're going to be recording Monday show. <laughs> Adrian says it's Thursday. <laughs> He's new to this. Sorry, man. We skipped ahead. Yeah. It's the Baker Boys in the building. Today is National Grilled Cheese Sandwich Day. Ooh, yum. What is your idea of a perfect grilled cheese sandwich, guys? Uh, lots of cheese and grilled it up. <laughs> <laughs> you put onions and everything else on it? No, there? no. I mean, that you can, of okay. course. You can put whatever you want gotcha. on the grilled cheese, but just the basic one, two slabs of America, fake American mm. cheese. <laughs> <laughs> or with short ribs in it, Ooh, we see. or even a tuna melt. Oh man! Oh man! Going, I'm going down the I'm going you, down the rabbit hole. You yeah. asked. Anyway, today's your day. Baker Buzz dry teas. I didn't know. All right, coming up in the Baker Buzz, guys. OJ Simpson has passed away at the age of 76 following a battle with cancer. And Pharrell Williams just dropped a secret album, and it's a secret because you can't even get it on uh, streaming <laughs> services. We'll tell you how and why. Coming up next, Baker Boys Daily. One or two jams. 100%, 100 throwbacks. throwbacks. The trick for grilled Deal. cheese is mayo, break, break beat Lou says. On the outside, you, you put it on the outside instead what? of butter. From Hollywood okay. and beyond. We specifically said no camera. It's the Baker Boys on your radio, Eric V and Nick V. It is a Feel Good Friday. Guess what? It is time for your Baker Buzz. And let's start with the, the news of O.J. Simpson passing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yesterday, April 10th, uh, O.J. Simpson passed away. Uh, a long battle with cancer, apparently. I didn't even know he was battling cancer, honestly. I didn't know that either. And I also didn't know his name was Orenthal James. Orenthal James, yeah. Yeah, yeah Orenthal Yeah, that's his name. Yeah, I she mean. She just knows him as O.J. O.J. I mean, right. yeah. Chloe's dad. Well, oh my gosh. There we go. Well, anyways, um, R.I.P. to him. You know, may he rest in peace. Uh, he, he passed away surrounded by his children and his grandchildren. And uh, the family has asked for, obviously, privacy and grace while they help with this difficult time transitioning. Yeah, so. but you also said that people were trolling on on uh, on the internet oh, yeah, as well. But, yeah, course. but I don't want to feed into that. You know, I don't like to feed into the trolling when people pass because at the end of the day, it's somebody's family member in their morning. Yeah, yeah they so, are. Period. All right, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. um, so, Pharrell Williams, we're talking about that. A brand new surprise album just dropped. Uh, he released it on his birthday. It's called Virginia Black Yacht Rock. Okay. Okay. Wait, what? Virginia Black Virginia Yacht Rock? Virginia Black Yacht Rock. Volume number okay. one, City of Limitless Access. So the album was released on his birthday and is available exclusively on blackyachtrock.com if you mm. want to get it. You cannot stream it on any of uh, the DSPs. The album features uh, 10 songs, including Caged, Bird Free, and Who Needs Rest. And, of course, he didn't promote it. He didn't tell anything, anybody about it, but Tyler, the creator, hyped it up on social media. Now everybody knows about it. Am I the only person that imagined a black yacht on a rock? No. In Virginia? No. What? <laughs> No. <laughs> like, how do you get that name? Well, Yacht Rock is an actual genre of music. Yeah, yeah it's okay. a, it would be like Nice Guy Rock. Okay, so it's, we're talking okay. about Christopher Cross and stuff like that okay. along that line. So it's kind of like music you would listen to on a yacht. On a yacht. But he's doing his version of it, which mm. is calling Black Yacht Rock. Yeah, so let's listen to it. Let's go and check it out. All, All right. right. There's your Baker Buzz. Anybody got something else coming up next? Yeah, coming up, we're going to be talking about Ice Spice making her acting debut Ooh. on an upcoming what? Spike Lee film. Damn. Oh, wow. going That's okay. going to be interesting.
All right, two SF locals here, guys. Okay. Lots of stuff here. Um, shout out to everybody who is watching right now on Twitch and on IG, guys. Good morning to everybody. All right, let's go. We are recording Friday and Monday show. So here we go. It's 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks Throwbacks. with the Baker Boys on a feel-good Friday. Friday. Yes. Good morning. How y'all feeling today? Wonderful. I got a brand new mouth love for everybody, so stay tuned for that. I love that. I have a question. Sure. So, you know, we do, um, for the listeners out there, we go live on Twitch in the morning. You can also catch us on Instagram. Yes. Um, But your intro... There's a part in your intro where you guys are, you and your brother, Nick and Eric, mm. are sitting on toilets. Yes. <laughs> I want to know, like, whose idea was that? Who woke up one day and said, hey, let's get naked, sit on toilets, and have a photo shoot? Uh, well, actually, so our sister station at, at the station we were working in L.A., you know, mm-hmm. they did some billboards. So shout out to Ed Lover and Dr. Dre. They did some billboards where they were kind of naked, and we're like, let's take this to the next level. You know, so we're going to sit on toilets and make it more nasty and eat pizza (laughs) while we're sitting on said toilets. You know, you you thought the Ed Lever and Dr. Dre uh, billboards were something (laughs) we had to take it up a notch. Yeah, we we definitely had to put it up a little bit more. Okay, but I want to hear like the experience. Like, is it are did you guys have a set and then they brought two toilets? Yes. 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 We first you had to have a creative. okay, creative meeting with everybody saying what we're going to do, what we want to do. Right. We came up with a bunch of different ideas and the creative department went back and got all the costumes, got all the the, the props and things like that. And we shot the uh, photo shoot. We have a whole behind the scenes like where we were dressed, dressed like Elvis, like mariachis, like all these different costume sets. What? Okay, I got to hear more about this. And I also want to come back after uh, the next break and I want to talk about did you guys walk out with like a little suck on your ding ding on the wee wees no, yes I, I put, I, we want to know I, we want to know on the next uh, okay. break hold, hold on. it 102 jams 100 percent throwbacks just two just do two today nick we're yeah. fine it's 102 jams 100 percent throwbacks. throwbacks the baker boys in the house if you haven't seen <laughs> the baker boys uh <laughs> intro that eric v created for us you have to go on to twitch on two uh, mondays and thursdays mm-hmm. and see the intro so ari brought yes. up an interesting fact in one of those uh Video videos cuts. cuts. There's a picture of us on the toilet. Yes. And she was asking, how the hell did that happen? Well, yeah, we, we had two toilets and we were sitting back, back to, back. to back. Okay. These were on giant billboards all across uh, Los Angeles when we were on the air there. Yeah. And, and you guys, for you listeners, if you have not seen this intro, there's so many iconic pieces to this intro that Eric has put together. He puts so much time and effort into this. And there's even like Nick mixing when he looks like, I mean, they both have hair, which is crazy. That's yeah. how like young they were. <laughs> yeah. And so there's these two images. So again, they're sitting on toilets. So what, on this set, when they put the two toilets and you guys get naked, do you walk out there butt booty naked? No, or do no, you no, put no, a no. sock on no, your no. little thing? Do you have a thong on? Do Whoa, you walk you, out with a towel? Wait, I'm not doing thongs. I got Nick, questions. See, Nick V I would do questions. a thong. Out of the two of us, Nick, we, <laughs> Nick would do a thong. I could totally <laughs> see him sunbathing <laughs> with a thong. Well, Sun gazing in a thong. Listen. In Spain. <laughs> if you were to look closer on the actual picture, you would see that our chonies are around uh, our ankles. Right. So we walk on the set and then we sit down on the toilet. Then we then we remove the uh, Un- chonies. Unrobe. So you guys were butt booty naked on Absolutely. those toilets. Absolutely. Come yeah. on, man. Wow. We're not fakers. We're bakers. <laughs> 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 I love it. Homie. Act like you know. If you want to see the intro, you got to tune in once again. To yes, Twitch. you know maybe you guys should put that intro also like on the Baker Boys Instagram. That's a really good idea. That's a great idea. It's too long. We just got to remove Jay Z now. No, it's not. Wow, it's one or two jams. One hundred percent throwbacks. Damn, Nick V wearing a thong right now. A Love says, "Yep, how'd you know? See, already. I told you. It's two days old though. You got a rando. Ouch. Uh, <clears throat> this is hour number two. Top five list. Tell me the days. Um, okay, anything." Uh, I have a Tinder list here. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Tinder list situation. Situation. Oh, no. Uh, let's go with this one first. I got, got? I got something else right here. You start. All right. Baker Boys, Eric V, Nick V, and Ari Rose. Rose. Now, I am not. What? Rose. I was like, what my name. Ari Rose. I, let me do that again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why? I, I just, it kind of threw me off. I, I can't hear. Remember, I'm, I'm, it's messing me up. It's the Baker Boys, Eric V, Nick V. I am not the most fit person in the room, of course. But you guys are a lot more fit than me, right? More okay. fit. Yes, we would say so. All right. Well, the CIA is looking for some super fit people, <laughs> super fit agents, <laughs> but uh-huh. only if you could do this many sit-ups in a minute. Hold on. Oh, let's talk about gosh. it. That's coming up. Energetic 
favorite DJs that make you feel good. Oh, boy. Nick V and Eric V, the Baker Boys. If you want to work for the CIA, there's only a few things you need to be able to do. Only a few things. All right. The Central Intelligence Agency is seeking candidates for the exclusive protective agent role who are patriotic and, of course, trustworthy and more importantly, fit enough to have to to be able to do 27 sit ups and 18 push ups in just one minute. We can do that, Ari. Yeah. Right. I don't think so. Yeah, we can do that. That's pretty easy. So maybe you guys do the CIA TikTok challenge. 27 sit-ups and 18 push-ups in one minute. Is, I'll record it. Is that all? 18, That's what they're asking for. You okay. Got, yeah. Well, we could definitely do that, Ari. I put, yeah, money on, I put money on you. You put money on me. Let's go. Five. I got five on it. I, I was going to put 20 on you, man. Oh, geez. Put a dub on you. You don't all right. trust that okay, I can I'll do it, Okay, I'll put a dub on you, too, then. All right. All right. Besides all right. the sit-ups and push-ups, the test also requires applicants to finish a 1.5-mile 1. 1. run in under 15 minutes, 20 seconds. Yeah. Oh, okay, that, you can do yeah, that. Yeah, you can do that for sure. A I'd be tired as hell because I'm not a runner, but uh, I can definitely do that. A 300 uh, a three hundred meter dash in under one minute and eight seconds. 300 meters is not far. Mm. And a 180 pound dummy drag under two minutes. Okay, that, that's crazy. I don't know what that Wait, is. Wait, how many pounds? 180 pounds. 180 pound dummy. And how many? How long am I dragging this dummy for? Uh, I don't know how far you're. Not Twelve yards. Two minutes. Mm, for two drag minutes it up. for two minutes. That's kind of tiring there. So, for two minutes dragging almost two hundred pounds. Let's go back to the sit-ups. Yeah. <laughs> so the salary range for the CIA job will be sixty-six thousand, between sixty-six thousand and one hundred twenty-two thousand. Though. I bet you my trainer Sid could do that. There you go. She's a she's a she beast. All right, look for that job <laughs> if you're a super fit. Sign up for it now. Baker Boys Daily. Yo, what up, Philip? All right, all right. So I get since it's grilled cheese day, here we go. What up, Sugar Shane? Okay. Eric V, you start? Yeah. It's the Baker Boys on a Feel Good Friday. Nick V dropping that mouth love later today. Oh, yeah, the positive affirmations from my heart to yours. Now, we talked earlier about it being National Grilled Cheese Day. Mm. Yes, it is. So Americans, uh, they eat so many grilled cheeses each year. we got to count how many we eat it. Yeah. Year. So there's a perfect grilled cheese, apparently, to Americans. So we're going to talk about that coming up next. Mm. Stay tuned. 102 Jams. 100%, 100 throwbacks. throwbacks. Catch the Baker Boys daily on twitch.tv slash the Baker Boys. It's Eric V, Nick V, and Ari Rose right here on a Feel Good Friday. Now, today is American Grilled Cheese National Day. National Grilled Cheese Oh, Day. National Grilled Cheese, yes. grilled cheese Yeah, so, but Americans eat so many grilled cheese sandwiches, in a year, they could fill almost 900 Olympic-sized pools. Jeez. What? Bro, that's a lot of cheese, homie. That's, that's a, a lot, lot of, of clog- farts. Clogged arter- <laughs> arteries right there. <laughs> well, it finds the average person's the average person eats at least 36 grilled cheeses a year. And people have specific ideas of what makes mm. the best one. Let me uh, know if you agree upon this, right? Okay. Americans think the perfect grilled cheese is made with two slices of American cheese on white bread, medium toasted, and cut diagonally. Yes, we I agree. agree. Ding, 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 ding. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yes. The Eric V will never know the pleasures of a grilled cheese. No, All right, so because it doesn't it doesn't have tomato sauce on it. Well, no, yeah. I don't like mm. cheese. Do you oh. like cheese pizza? But he likes pizza. But yeah. I don't like uh, that American cheese. I don't I don't like it anyway. Uh so A Love says two cheddar uh, pepper jack and buttered Hawaiian bread Ooh, that's makes a good one. the perfect mm. grilled cheese. Have you ever had that? Yeah, with no, no, Hawaiian no. bread. Yes, no. Hawaiian bread is the best. Yeah. My yes. daughter loves that. Anything with Hawaiian bread. And is also, be break, beat, break beat Lou says the secret to a grilled cheese sandwich is mayo. Yeah, on the outside. So, so when you're grilling it, instead of putting butter, you put mayo. So grill it with the mayo on the outside. Wow. All right. Mm. So thirty six. Grilled cheeses a year we eat, apparently. That's great. 36 divided by 12, that's three a month? No, I don't do that much. I don't no, do it that much, I, man. I don't, I don't have that many grilled Maybe cheeses. once a month. Maybe yeah. once a quarter, actually. I yeah, I was going to say, you. like, maybe once a quarter Baker for Boys me. Boys Daily, you do your grilled cheese how I do it. You, you do your grilled cheese, and I'll do mine. There you go. Uh, you forgot the mustard <laughs> cheese. My fault. No. I had to go back to the chat. I'm Babe? sorry. All right, so <laughs> since we just came off the eclipse, we're going to do something what here. What the hell? How do you not like okay. cheese? Bro, excess. <laughs> I'm a weird person, bro. I'm sorry. Here we go, Eric yeah. SF Local, you start. All right. 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks on a Feel Good Friday, along with Eric V, Nick V, and Ari Rose. I know everybody caught a little bit of the eclipse here in the Bay Area. But Very then, little. Right. The total uh, solar eclipse uh, traveled across North America on Monday over Mexico, Pacific Coast, dashing across America from Texas to Maine before heading over to the eastern Canada side. But in case your local viewers missed it, it's going to happen again. And we're going to be in the total path in 2045. Oh, wow. Oh, oh that's okay. So, <laughs> so make your plans. It's another, like, what, 
I'm gonna, some years ago. I'm going to go 20- buy all the leftover sunglasses from people <laughs> at like a really low rate, put them in a storage, and then sell them. Then. Sell them again at a higher cost. Can you <laughs> well, imagine how much more they're going to be then? Exactly. And, that's the mind of an entrepreneur. And then you can say, but wait a minute. These were actual glasses that were used in the original Toto Eclipse right. 40 years ago. These are vintage glasses. Vintage, so you can get up Ooh, the charge. So absolutely. 2024 vintage nope. yeah. Eclipse yes. glasses. Yes. yes. So it's going to happen once again. It's going to be in our line of path right here in the Bay Area. 2045 make plans. Put a calendar on it. Baker Boys Daily. <laughs> One or two jams. 100%, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. <coughs> Damn, right. I made that joke. I would wait <laughs> until 2045. Ready? SF Local. Oh, I got one. Here we go. Eric. It's 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose. So we have eclipses. We have earthquakes. Now New York is having earthquakes. Yeah. Well, apparently San Andreas Fault is sending signals of an earthquake brewing. Ouch. We've heard this for 30 something years. Well, right? come on, man. Yeah, no. Take it serious. Scientists believe the fault may alter sound waves before a quake, like the waves that were detected right before a powerful earthquake in 2004. Oh, yeah. So, you know, that can be helpful to kind of like the way they're studying it now with their advanced technology to mm-hmm. say like, hey, it's starting to shake or have more movement. We have, you know, in the next six months, there could be a really big one or whatever that. But then, you know, you think about it and it's like, how do you really prepare for a big one? They used to say, oh, the waters, oh, this toilet paper (laughs) no (laughs) i don't know let's think about that actually what do you are you going to need if the big one does hit and there's no cars you know i mean there's no stoves Mm -hmm. there's no internet there's none of those things Mm -hmm. guys so we have to think about that we need water we need canned goods Mm -hmm. we need non-perishable items we need gas probably you know, things but then to stash. gas, like I always think about like when you look at the zombie apocalypses and then they have like their little gas filled in the little red bucket. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, that's only going to get you so far because it's going to run out again. Then what? Of course it is. But you want to get to the next gas. Yeah. That gas will get you to the next gas. Yes. <laughs> think, you gotta think like So like we a should zombie. have 10 gases. Yes. Okay. Store them underground so your neighbors don't see them. <laughs> <laughs> Build the bunker. Real talk. Oh, wow. my God. Go Let's... Mark Zuckerberg on it, man. Oh, my God. I can't. And well... watch out. It's coming. It's good. The big one's coming. San Andreas Fault is humming. Hey, listen. There was that big one last week in Taiwan. Okay. So you know when it shakes on one side, it's got to shake on the other. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. One or two jams. 100%, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. Hour number three. This is the Baker Buzz. Eric VTs. All right. I did the uh, Eminem thing. Yeah, Chris Brown. Here we go. Okay, here we go. What up, 408? Thanks for checking in. The two fat Mexicans in the building for a feel good Friday. Later on, I have that mouth love. You know what that is? It's positive affirmations from my heart to yours. But coming up, we have another Baker Buzz. And Eminem is producing a documentary, so he's having an open call to all his stands. His stand fans for an upcoming documentary. And so, ap- super fans. And apparently, the diss tracks continue. Chris Brown seemingly disses Quavo on his new single, Freak. Oh boy, here we go. Baker Boys Daily. It's his birthday. There's none, so let's come up with something. Unless you can find. I think I can get like a little. Uh, Thank you, Alef. All right, I guess I'm for that information. I didn't see that. I guess I'm real quick, Eggly. All right. Baker Boys in the building for a feel good Friday. Who loves sleeping with dogs? I do. Not right. me. Who well, loves not, sli- not in a, yeah, not in a R. Kelly or P. Diddy way. No, but, but yeah. what about cats? Anybody have cats? Nope. Well, not for me. Apparently, people who sleep with cats sleep a lot better. Bull! They do because they hum like birds, like bees. Boom, Shh, boom, whatever. I'm allergic to you, cats. Oh, you are? Yeah. All right, for those cat lovers out there, sleep well tonight. Uh, Baker Buzz Dry Teas. It's a Feel Good Friday with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. Coming straight ahead, they have their Baker Buzz. So apparently Chris Brown is dissing Quavo on his new single called Freak. Everybody got problems. Freak. <laughs> <laughs> and we're talking about obsessed fans. So Eminem is issuing an open call to all his Stan fans for an upcoming documentary he's working on. Mm. 102 Jams. 100%, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. What up, Christopher? Hollywood and beyond. We specifically said no. It happens twice a day. It's a Feel Good Friday. We're the Baker Boys. She's Ari Rose. What's going on with Chris Brown and Quavo now? Well, listen, just when we thought these celebrity beefs were somewhat starting to die down, it looks like the stars are back at it again. R&B legend Chris Brown surprised fans with a deluxe version to his album, 1111. Now, on the new track titled Freak, featuring Lil Wayne, Joyner Lucas, and T Grizzly, there seems to be a subtle jab at Quavo. 
So Breezy raps, effing my old bees ain't going to make us equal. Sipping that 1942 because I don't do no Quavo. Oh. Freak B, she likes Casamigos, not the Migos. Ah. Mm. And of course, this isn't the first time Chris Brown and Quavo had found themselves beefing. The history of their beef dates back to 2017 when Quavo was romantically linked to Brown's ex-girlfriend, Carucci. Carucci and, and does this got is it. what happens in the industry. I mean, these guys, mm -mm. all no these fun. girls the slept, slept with that guy, this girl, blah, 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 back mm. and forth, back and forth. And I don't, when since when did R&B singers start battling battle rapping rappers yeah you never heard teddy pendergrass going after <laughs> <laughs> you know al green right should be do well look 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 i mean karuchi is a beautiful woman well, so well, there are connections apparently chris brown with mm. uh with the gang though as well so he's got mm. backup oh yeah he claims he got the streets yeah he got, he the, got streets the streets, streets. <laughs> yeah don't come out to california or coivo <laughs> we're gonna see you all right so eminem pause, stand. It, pause it real quick i fucked up what uh i promoted ice spice so i gotta go back and fix those so let me do do ice spice now and we'll go back and fix the teases so he's so got backup. Fault. Oh, yeah, he claims he got the streets. Yeah, he got, he the, got streets the streets on the streets. <laughs> yeah, don't come out to California. Oh, that's been going on beginning of times. You got to check Bobby Wom Bobby Womack, Sam Cook. Not on wax. They don't bang on wax. Yeah, but I'm <laughs> talking about like a R and B singer against a hip hop artist. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, he got he the got streets. On streets. <laughs> yeah, don't come out to California, Coivo. And let's talk about Ice Spice now. Yeah, she's making her debut, acting debut, in an upcoming Spike Lee film. So she's set to appear in Spike Lee's upcoming movie, which will be apparently be retelling a iconic Japanese filmmaker. I don't know how to say his name. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Just don't even try. I'm not going to say it. Crime thriller called High and Low. The film will be Ice's uh, movie movie debut, and she'll all appear alongside the one and only Denzel Washington. What a stab of approval right there wow so it's official ice spice is here to stay i yeah. hope she's like really freaking good because i'm gonna be upset if she's in a film with denzel and spike lee you know and there's like a lot of talented actors out there that could have that opportunity so right. i'm just praying that she really kills this role. all right well let's hope for the best well, yes. Ice has already started shooting the original High and Low uh, from 1963, followed a wealthy executive whose family becomes a target of ruthless kidnappers. So, interesting right there. All right, Denzel Washington, Spike Lee, and Ice Spice coming to a theater near you. Mm. There's your Baker Buzz. We said, hmm. Let's, let's go back to the uh, <coughs> tees teases. I'm sorry. It's mouth love. You know what? We have another Baker Buzz. So, he's having us producing a doc. Informations from my heart to your. All right, we'll just do it all over. Sorry. It's a feel-good Friday with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. Eric V is going to bring in some mouth love. Eric V is going to bring some mouth love. <laughs> no, I'm not. You are. You oh, are. Shit. What the fuck? <laughs> what the I just fuck? He said it. He said it again. I said I it like, again. I was like, wait, mouth I, can, I can fix it. Watch. <laughs> it's a feel-good Friday with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. I have some mouth love coming up for you. <laughs> Affirmations from my heart to yours, but the Baker Buzz is coming up straight. And Chris Brown seemingly is dissing Quavo on his new single, Freak. And she's making her acting debut in a Spike Lee movie. Ooh, Ice ooh. Spice. What? We'll talk about she's going to be starring besides Denzel Washington. Ooh, that's oh, big news okay. for her. It's another Baker Buzz coming up this hour. We are the Baker Boys in the building. Feel Good Friday. All right. All right. Let's do that. Do it's this a pre-Friday fam. What up, Bree? Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. For a Feel Good Friday, we have a Baker Buzz coming around the corner. Yes, Chris Brown is apparently dissing Quavo on his new single. Shots fired. Beef because of ex-girlfriends. Oh, no. That's all it is. Oh, boy. It always is. Anyway, Ice Spice is making her acting debut in an upcoming Spike Lee movie. We got more details coming up in the Baker Bus. It's 102 Jam. 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. SF Locals. <laughs> half a half a oh, half I got something right here. <laughs> Pause. Eric V, you start? Yeah. Baker Boys on your radio, Eric V, Nick V, and Ari Rose on a happy Friday. Coming up, Nick V's going to be dropping that mouth love as well. Yeah. Shout out to Halfway House Records. What hey, up? I'm not sure if anybody's seen this house, a two-story house floating in the <gasps> Bay Area. I did see that. What is that? Yeah, there was a it's legal a battle. There, uh, there was a, evicting a dozen of people that ended up with an agreeing to relocate the house. So they put it on a barge, and they put it across the Bay Area. There it Whoa. is, floating. I've never seen anything like that. No, me yeah. either. Right? No, that's it's a crazy. houseboat. I never knew a houseboat really like 
Well, just, that's a real house. This it's like a full it. house. Yeah, it's not a boat that's playing. A, the, no, it's called a houseboat, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, like wow. I read other see series of houseboats moving to Marin. Wow, this is crazy. So like, it's you happening. just start the engine and be like, "Let's go, little house." Right. I mean, <laughs> what is the rent on that for that water there? You don't probably don't pay. You got to play. Yeah, pay I guess you're it. right. Right. I wonder if they can move that house to like Italy. You know, no, like just I, like go across it. the country. Yeah, no. Let's that, see if the roof make it makes it. It, it won't make it. It won't make it that. <laughs> Not that house right there. Okay. Uh, 102 jams. 100 percent throwbacks. SF local. Okay. All right. Let me see if I have <clears throat> something I want to talk one. about. Okay. Never mind. Go with yours then. Feel good Friday at the Baker Boy Show. 102 jams. 100 percent throwbacks. So, wow. how important is it? Like when you like okay. Nick, you're married yes. for Melissa to have her nails done or like women to have their nails done. I mean, it's it's up to her, actually. Uh, so I, you Gordon, don't get mad? I know I'm not going to get mad no, at her. You can't get I, mad. Oh, you don't be like, your no. nails look really terrible. No, but when she starts complaining like, bam, my, my nails look bad, I start feeling the same way because my nails are looking bad. I'm like, babe, let's, let's go to get our nails done together. I, okay, gotcha. I love that. How about you, Eric? Because we're I, on this woman search for I you. I have no significant other, so, well, you know. But now that you're possibly on the prowl. You're on the market. She's, why do yes. you keep saying possibly? That's my question to you. Why do you keep saying possibly? Because one day you're all in, and then the next day you're not. No, I'm I'm all in. Oh, okay. I, so you are I've on the prowl. I've been looking for somebody for a very Ooh. long time. So the question is, are you looking she for somebody? She don't exist. You're looking for somebody with good nails, or it don't matter? That's the question. Yeah. Oh, no. she got to have her nails done. she got to have her nails done. I, 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 yeah. I don't want to look in, like, freaking claws. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> damn. Well, the reason why I brought this up is because Selena Gomez is um, bringing out this trend. Um, it's called butter nails. Okay. And butter it's nails. literally the spring color for this year. Mm. It's a must-have color. Is yellow. Mm. Specifically, a butter color. Okay. Do you like that? Like, what do you think about butter nails? I like the nails? popcorn I think butter it's, color. It's seasonal. Yeah. You know, it's seasonal. Why not? All well, right. You know, if it goes with the dress. I won't be doing yellow nails. Okay. I don't think. What nails are you going to be doing this spring season? This one. All right. So that's uh, like pastel, pastel pink. Pastel pink. But that's the brother and sister to the pastel yellow. So, so it goes well. So maybe I'll do one nail yellow. Do it. One nail. Just do, one. Do it for Selena's. <laughs> one or two jams. Wow. 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. What up, Mambo? Hour number four. Uh, I got something right here. Okay. All right. It's the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building for a Feel Good Friday. All right. So Ari Rose, we know a lot of women use but uh, use uh, Botox, right? <laughs> I was like, use butt what? Yeah, butt <laughs> All right, well, I got to do this again. Botox. No, it's fine. No, no, no. It doesn't work. It, I, I'm, I know I'm uh, editing-wise, I can't do it. Here but we you go. don't have to fix it. It's here fine. I, no, let's I have to fix it. Let's just redo it. <laughs> The Baker Boys in the building. Feel good Friday. All right. We know a lot of women use Botox, right? So mm -hmm. the CDC is now warning women and whoever else use Botox on your own time that uh, there, there's some ex expected warnings going on with this. We'll talk about it coming up. Hold on. On twitch.tv slash the Baker Boys. Warning, warning, warning. Anybody using Botox out there, the uh, bigwigs are saying there's something wrong with the Botox. Yeah, the Center of Disease Control and Prevention is about to issue a warning on fake Botox. No. The agency said yesterday that they're coordinating a multi state outbreak investigation after it became aware of a few botulism. Botul oh. Yeah, botulism like illnesses in several in several states uh, resulting from Botox injections. Ouch! Mm. Fake Botox. How do you tell if you're getting real, Bota real uh, Botox Ooh. injections or fake? Well, probably one by the price. Okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> so give me an idea how much it costs. You uh, I pay fourteen dollars a unit. Okay, so how many units? Do how you many do? units do you, do you do? I do about forty to fifty. Ooh, a wait. session. Wait, wait, oh, a session. Yeah. Session. So how long does that session last? Is it like um, a comeback in a month, a comeback no, in two months? No, it's usually like every six months I get it done. It's about okay. 500 bucks every six months. Okay, so. But if somebody was charging me $200 for that same amount, I'd be like, mm, wait a minute. What'd you put in there? Water? Yeah. Um, <laughs> what are you shooting of? tequila? Like, I don't know what you're putting in my face. So Here, here are some of the side effects to be looking for if you get mm. fake Botox, okay? okay. All right. Blurred double vision. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Droopy yeah. face. Ooh. Fatigue. Shortness of breath, wow. difficulty breathing, and hoarse, hoarse voice. Wait a minute. You have been coughing a whole lot in here. You have yeah, been. it's called allergies. You have been. <laughs> Listen, I've been doing Botox for 10 years, honey. You know, your face <laughs> has been looking a little droopy, too. 
Here, uh, here's the thing. Listen, I always tell people, and even when I first started doing Botox like 10 years ago, I on Instagram, I would share the information, tag the doctors, go in, do stories, lives, because I feel like if you do want to do it, I want to like help and educate the ladies or the men that want to get it done and be like, this is how it should look. This is how, you know, these are the things to look for. I got a question. Is Botox mm -hmm. only for your face? Um, No, you can put it in you your put underarms. You can put it anywhere, right? You can put it in your arms? Underarms. Underarms. People arms. do their underarms to stop the sweating. What about your butt? Can you put Botox in your butt? No, it's to freeze. It doesn't make anything grow. Oh, gotcha. So unless gotcha. you want you to freeze your butt freeze cheeks. Freeze your butt, yeah. Your oh. butt muscles. All right, well, we're just giving you a warning. <laughs> CDC saying look out for this yeah. fake Botox on them streets. And don't put it in your butt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> don't freeze your butt. <clears throat> Horse voice is my new rap name. <laughs> wow. Oh, boy. All right, uh, I got something else here. All right, hold on. This is another national or uh, the local? This is actually SF local. Okay. Um, you going to do it here? I no, you one. guys got something. Go ahead. All right, Ari's got it. Go. It's 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks on a Feel Good Friday. Don't forget, later in the show, Nick V is dropping that mouth love because yep. it's Feel Good Friday, yep. and he's going to give us some positivity going into the weekend. I was reading this story, and it says um, this new survey that was conducted by the Society for Human Resource Manager Management uh -huh. says that 50% of people admit to having a thing for someone they work with. Whoa. Is yeah, I mean, you're in close quarters. Yeah, you're 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 gonna become a little more attached to somebody. Now, I personally don't like doing anything at work because it it's always gonna get muddy. Mm -hmm. It's always gonna be a problem. Nope. And I've had problems in the past with picking a co-host because of said issues. Whoa. Yes. What do you mean, Eric? V? I have passed on numerous co-hosts for the show because you had feelings for them. Well, it could have been mutual. How, how, how do you know it was just me? Oh. You don't know that, Nick B. So wait a minute. You knew about it, so you said, no, you can't come into the building because yes. you have feelings for me? Let's go Let's go on a date instead? No. I, I, didn't, even do, <laughs> I didn't even do that. I just you separated just it all the way because it, it's, it does, it's not worth the- uh, Aggravation? Uh, not the aggravation, but mm. it's just not going to end up good. It's sloppy. Yes. It becomes personal. Yes. And I mean, it makes sense because you spend a lot of time with your coworkers and there is a bond created through shared experiences. You spend more time with your coworkers sometimes than you do at home with your work, with your family. Yeah. Yeah. How about that part? I agree. Well, if you have an office crush, just know you are not alone. Yeah. <sighs> do not act on that crush, do though. Do not act. It's not Unless you're it. single. Get a new job yeah, and then smash. Well, hold on. If you're single, even if you're, <laughs> would you say? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I said get a new job and, and then, then smash. smash. Wow. Yeah. Smash and dash. Look and at you're here. no longer working together. This is the guy looking for a lady. Oh, okay. This is the one. He's All a single right. guy. <laughs> one or two jams. 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. All right. Um, Mouth love? No, no. Oh. SF, SF, SF <laughs> so local. Excited. I yeah, got something SF. here. You go. <clears throat> All right. Let me know when you're ready. You start. SF local. What to do, party people? It's a feel good Friday with the Baker Boys Daily 102 Jams 100% throwback. All right. So, congratulations to the CHP, but why are they the ones uh, taking down enough fentanyl off the streets of San Francisco to kill the entire city's population? <gasps> Damn. Wow. Nearly a dozen times over, bro. That ends up to be about 42 pounds worth of fentanyl recovered within a 10-block radius of the Tenderloin oh, neighborhood. Wow, that it, is so scary. It yeah. just happened. And it's in the neighborhood. It's in the city. Yeah. It could kill wow. the, the, the whole population 12 times over. And that fentanyl is so, I mean, it's so powerful. Like, just a little bit of it. If you put too much of it in whatever you're doing, it, it's it's going to end up bad. This is nasty. Who is making it? How do we stop it? How do we cut the the, the, the snake, the head of the snake off? 42 pounds. pounds. That is so sad. We were just um, talking about it. I went uh, to a game, anyway, to so this Warrior game, and we were talking with some of the team guys back there, and we were talking about how things have gotten so, so bad over the last five, six years. Mm -hmm. From when, you know, we used to be out and going out and like now it's just like everything's closing down. It's run down. We're talking about how Oakland is closing down all these, you yeah. know, the Denny's and the In-N-Out's and all this stuff. And um, Cane's like they, you can't even walk into Cane's to like order food. It's <laughs> drive through only. It's like it's so sad. And a lot of it is because of all these drugs and the crime. Yeah, it's out there and it's dangerous. And yeah. I'm just uh, thankful that the CHP took that off of the streets. A little bit safer today. Yes. One or two jams. 100% throwbacks. throwbacks.
Almost fucked that up. Yeah. I'm like, where are you going, kid? I was like, shit. Because I was like, the warrior Laker <laughs> game was... Because I was talking to Draymond about it. So I was like, oh, that would make sense to talk about in SF. But um, We got one left, right? This is how the mouth left. Okay, Woo-hoo! yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. All right, the weekend is here, party people. That means it is time for that mouth love coming up. Nick V, positivity from his mouth to our ears. We all need it at the end of the week. We just went through a big old eclipse. There's all kinds of craziness going on, but we're going to bring it back. We're going to ground ourselves. Coming up next, it's mouth love from the Baker Boys. Hold on. 102 Jams. 100% 100 throwbacks. throwbacks. Mouth love time here. Baker Boys daily. The other thing over here on this side. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Write this one. Come on. Pick the, pick the Baker Boys daily. All right. It is time to change the energy in the room. He calls it mouth love. Nick B will be expressing some positive words for us and for you as well. Going into the weekend, we need this protection. Shout out to everybody who is tuned in on Twitch and on IG. Thank you very much for tuning on in, everybody. Please take a deep breath in. Here we go. Hold it. Push it out. Don't forget to hold it, Ari. I one more deep breath in. <laughs> Blow it out. Changing the molecules. Ladies yes. and gentlemen, calling in our higher selves. Positivity all around us. Nothing can harm us. Please repeat after me. Gratitude is our attitude. Gratitude, Gratitude is, is our, our attitude. attitude. We are protected. We, we are, are protected. protected. We are present here and now. We, we are, are present, present here, here and now. now. We choose love over all. We, we choose, choose love, love over all. all. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. You have made it through another Ooh. week and you are now in mouth love. Ooh, thank, thank you for that, Nick. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. We have a choice every day, every step, every time you wake up. It's a blessing. That breath right now you just took, that's a blessing. Yep. Yes. Okay, come on, man. Stand in gratitude. You're going to be okay. And don't let those outside sources try to bring you down. Remember, you are all powerful and you have an aura around you. Don't let it in. Mm-hmm. Six feet, foul, each way around you mm-hmm. think about it you have a shell of goodness protecting you and walk around like that you're gonna be all right yep thank you guys for tuning on in to the baker boys we will catch you on manifest monday same station same time for the baker boys we love you peace promo all right uh what did i do bringing the noise the oh, baker okay, boys I... with your daily i didn't do any yeah. nationals okay okay that's fine all right Daily fix of fun. Tune in to the Baker Boys. It is a feel good Friday. That means I am dropping some mouth love. It's positive affirmations from my heart to yours. And if you're super fit and you ever wanted to work for the CIA, all you have to do is 27 sit ups and 18 push ups in less than one minute, plus some other challenges. But if you want a job, they're hiring. Baker Boys with your daily fix of fun. It's one or two jams, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. Tune in to the Baker Boys and I Rose this morning. I'm going to be dropping some mouth love because it's Feel Good Friday. And 27 sit-ups and 18 push-ups is what they're looking for in less than one minute. The CIA is trying to hire. Uh, Ari, do you think you can do that? Absolutely. Let's no way. It. Let's do it. Yeah. Put it on film. Let's go. <laughs> one or two jams, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. Right. What up, Romeo? All right, that is. Okay, I got uh, my next two big buzzes. Friday. All right, let me get rid of stories here, guys. Put on some music bed. Back to the regular set here. Hey, thank you, uh, Sabi, for that. Always look forward to Nick's positive words. Sabi says, "I love you, Sabi. All y'all. We what to do, you. man? What's up? Hap- what's happening, Romeo? It is Thursday technically, but it's my Friday, guys. I'm excited for the weekend to not do anything." You want to put uh, my backup behind mine uh, so they can see mine at least? Or is it? Yeah, you can. Mess, what mess up shit for you? No, for it's you. fine right now. It's fine right now. You guys like that scene better? Nick likes that scene, so you let me know. Because I want them to see the work behind the scenes. Uh, so you can't still introduce. Got that. Yeah. Manifest Monday coming right up. Coming yep. right up. Coming right up. Uh, denied. Yeah, that's good. Lit Dad says, "What up, Lit Dad? How you doing, man? What's everybody got planned for the weekend? Anybody got any plans this weekend? Well, it's gonna be raining Saturday here. Oh, great! So we uh, son of a bitch, we killed our farmers market. Damn. Well, I guess I can use this for. Can I use that ice spice information for K Day? Yeah, totally. If you want. 
Right. If that's what you want for your life, it's not what I want for my life. I'm, <laughs> I'm looking. I'm looking for an extra story here, brother. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Jeez. Sorry. <laughs> Definitely don't want it for my life. It's not like I I'm, have a bunch of shit I'm, too. I'm not like I'm looking for it. I know? have some Rihanna stuff. I got the roots thing as well. You do the roots. Um, yeah, I got, got the Don roots. Tolliver, Ice Spice. I got the I got Eminem thing. I got Eminem. All right. Yeah, we got enough. I don't know about let's see here. here we go. Yeah, I got the I got some Pharrell did, news. Did anybody hear the uh, leaked Doja Cat album? No, <laughs> did not. All right, so this is uh, Manifest Monday. All right, um, I'm gonna do Rihanna, Ari. You got one, it? Ari, or yep, I got two. Got two. All right, so pick your. Okay, so you guys do yours first, I guess. Yeah, you could turn that off, please. Here we go, guys. Turn what up? Oh, the background. Music bed. Music bed. Oh. Do you want the background up? Yeah, for me. No more. Huh? No, go ahead. Yeah. It is a Manifest Monday. Monday. Welcome back. Hope your weekend was incredible. The Baker Boys are in the building. Coming straight ahead, Rihanna. She's out there talking. She's talking about her new album, and she's got a lot of visual ideas. And, you know, it was, um, I think we had like two days of not talking about Diddy. So oh, he's Diddy back. It's <laughs> okay. Diddy time. Okay. Producer Little Rod alleges to having recordings of Diddy admitting to crimes. Man, Snap. oh, man. Yep. It's getting worse and worse for Diddy. Don't dug deeper. Baker Boys Daily. Manifest Monday. Birthdays, national days, Eric V. All right, let me see here. I got national day. All right, we're ready. It is a manifest Monday with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose. What does it sound like? All right, it's a colorful holiday that encourages curiosity and beautiful beautiful things around us. We're talking about World Art Day. Huh. Oh, Today okay. is the day. All right. Colorful art day. Who, if you, could you, what kind of artist would you like to be, Eric V, if you were an artist? Oh, man. Would you like to paint? Would you like to sculpt? Would you like to rap, sing? Jeez. Any Pro kind of artist. Paint, paint, if I could paint. For sure, yeah, like a I, Picasso. But I'm terrible at painting, so yeah. But if I could paint, yeah, that would be awesome. Well, get your art day on today. All right, Baker Boys, try tease. It's a Manifest Monday with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose. Rihanna, she just did a big old interview, and she's talking about her next album, and she has a lot of visual ideas she wants to share with y'all. And Little Rod is not taking his foot off the gas. Apparently, he is claiming to having recordings of Diddy admitting to crimes. Jeez, that's coming up in the Baker Buzz. Hold on. It's 102 GMs. 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. What up, On Air with Q? Thank you for checking in, bro. From Hollywood and beyond. We specifically it is time for your Baker Buzz, ladies and gentlemen. Eric V, Nick V, and Ari Rose right here for Manifest Monday. Monday. Yeah, so Rodney, a.k.a. Little Rod, who filed a lawsuit against Diddy, is claiming that now he has recordings of the mogul admitting to crimes, uh -oh. also pressuring artists to sign record deals, inappropriate sex acts, and more. Man, he hit that record button and it didn't stop, huh? <laughs> yeah, so apparently he is sharing um, how he would get things done by force. This includes record deals, signatures on contracts, sex acts from women and men, oh. as well as the women of his enemies. He bragged about departed attorney Johnny Cochran's savvy legal skills and ability to pay off the witnesses through private investigators and other third parties. Damn. Wow. So all of this is uh, recorded, apparently. Yes, and Jones even admitted, he added that Mr. Combs bragged about when he um, beat up Steve Stout. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Um, remember that. And that he was laughing uncontrollably. He also talked about how um, he shared that the common practice in the music industry is to wire money from anonymous accounts overseas. This way, if there's ever a need to take care of a problem, it would never be traced back to him. Mm. These accounts are located in Germany. So he is... Ooh. Wow, he's out there spitting it all. And he's got word vomit. It's going to be a problem. It is a problem. And yes. Diddy is going down, apparently. So Super. moving on to Rihanna, she offers an update on her album. And she's teasing her ninth studio album since her hiatus uh, with Anti. That was mm -hmm. the last one she put out, apparently. And she has a lot of ideas for visuals, but no songs yet, she says. Mm. <laughs> she usually has the music first. <laughs> now I'm having all these visual ideas that I don't have wow. the songs for them yet. Wow. But maybe that's the key this time in the art shared so we're looking forward to see what those visuals come out to be auto audio wise yeah, yeah. i love this for her so asap asap rocky hinted in february that rihanna is actively working on the album she also mm. said that standing next to him sometimes with his clothes oh, that yeah. she feels <laughs> bummy so that's <laughs> that's weird. crazy because she's such a freaking style icon i know right. totally yeah and she plans to have more babies oh how about yeah. that so looking out for that rihanna i'm coming up soon baker boys daily there's your baker buzz yep coming up next hour coming up in hour three i'm talking about 
Eminem issued a open call for all his Stan fans, the crazed fans called Stan, for his upcoming documentary. Okay. SF Locals. I have something here. Uh-huh. Eric, you can start. Yep. It's a Manifest Monday with the Baker Boys on your radio. Eric V, Nick V, and Ari Rose. 102 Jams, 100% throwback. Okay, who has kids out there? Who's been feeding them Lunchables? Since oh, this is terrible news. Have I've you seen guys, this. Has anybody ever had Lunchables before? I have. I still do. No! <laughs> no! Are you kidding me? Ain't there an age group on these what? on this what? food? What? Are you? Is this age discrimination? Uh, yeah, it is. So, Consumer yes. Reports is calling the United States Department of Agriculture to remove Lunchables meal kits from school menus altogether. Wow! They said that there's all kinds of bad stuff in there, like uh, cadmium, lead. sodium, lead uh, levels, high levels of lead. You're that's feeding your not, kids lead. That's Y'all, not cool. Not cool at all. So take them off. Do not buy them anymore, and probably. Make them a healthy snack. I mean, everything has something. The yeah. eggs, the meat, the air, the water, the filters, the cake right. pots. Like, okay, okay. But these are, these are for the kids. Uh, don't you want to take care of the kids? I just want to know what can I eat. Anything raw. Eat something live. Eat something that's alive from the plants. That sounds Silence. Boring. Everybody's like bummy. They're all yeah, silent. What depressed. about pasta? <laughs> <laughs> no, that probably has led to. Where's the pizza? Mm. You got to go with clean um, uh, ingredients. Mm. Once you start with clean ingredients, mm. you can go from there. Boring. All right. Sorry. 102 jams. 100%, 100% throwback. throwback. You guys are so mad at me now. <laughs> <laughs> so mad. He burst in my bubble. Damn, DJ Romeo said my daughter had it right now. Damn, oh. no, take that shit away, bro. All right, so let's uh, let's carry this on. Thank you, quick. Shotzi. Okay. It's one or two jams, one hundred percent throwbacks. No I just gave these guys some bad news about the Lunchables. <laughs> so yeah. sad, and they're still so bummed out about it. Not so much Eric no, V. Don't say there because okay. I'm not bummed uh, out about it. I well, don't eat those. I'm, Ari still does. I, I know. I'm. Uh, what's it called? I go by by age food. You know what I mean? What? Uh, what? That's too. That's. Oh, that's because something you buy for cheese kids. pizza is so adultish. It is. That, that's, oh, okay. a, that's a nine. Chicken strips and, and fries. <laughs> yes, it's so adultish. <laughs> okay, you know what? You got me. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> that's Eric V's menu. That's right. it. It's the kid's menu, and he's Literally, happy. You're right. He's so happy. I am happy. <laughs> so, Ari, you said something earlier about this, everything has something in it. Everything's bad for you. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. What recently, within the last, I don't know, five years, have you found out that you should not be eating and have not eaten since? Well, you know, I was doing fine until I started spending so much time with you, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys, the other day, I like I'm at home minding my business, and I get this little DM. Ding. Here comes Nick. I'm like, okay, I'm scared to to tap it. I tap it, and it's like, don't be drinking uh, the, the coffee, the coffee pods. pods because they have microfibers yep. that lead to cancer that cut your intestines. You're and who shooting knows what. hot water into these plastic. Uh, coffee pods and it goes directly into your coffee is there's hundreds of thousands of microplastics that are going inside of your coffee that you're drinking on a daily basis yep and then so i'm like sipping my coffee as i open this dm (laughs) i look around the house and i'm like well that banana probably has pesticides the bag of doritos probably has like plastic in it no red number red 40 has. then i look at my lunchables and i'm like that has lead (laughs) so it's like what can i eat oh boy oh boy jesus i need to just move to Ireland, buy a farm, have my goats, and just let my hair turn gray and milk gonna, my own are you cow. Are going to eat the goats eventually? But, goat but, cheese. Uh, no, can, you can't eat your pets. You can make cheese Why out not? of goat cheese. Goat cheese. Goat They're cheese. food. Yes. Eric, I'm not having... What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing with a face. Don't eat it. No. Oh, my god. <laughs> Nothing with a face. <laughs> wow. Parsley from my backyard it is. <laughs> the eggs don't have faces. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. 102 jam. 100%, 100% throwback. throwback. Throw it all away. <laughs> <coughs> boy, oh boy. You see how it is, the AC. Oh, wow. On Air with Q says, K-Cup creator John Sylvan uh, regrets inventing Keurig cup pod system, or the coffee pod system. Oh, so really? Mm. The man who invented the K-Cup coffee pod almost 20 year go- years ago says he regrets doing so and can't understand the popularity of it. Oh, the simplicity of it is easy. All right. Um, wow. So we got anything. Is he turning those checks back in? (laughs) It's red. The money he's making from residuals. (laughs) I have a uh, dummy of the day. Here we go. Eric B, you start. Yeah. Coming up on the Baker Boys Daily Show, we got a dummy of the day. Yeah. Who loves doing their laundry? 
Uh, not I me. do. You do? Yeah, I actually enjoy. I just don't like folding. Well, this oh. one, yeah, folding. <laughs> this guy, uh, he loves doing laundry so much that he was driving a hundred miles per hour to get it done. Jeez. He's the dummy of the day. Dummy. It's coming up next. Hold on. He couldn't have come up with a better excuse. Right. I, know, right? I was running to go do my laundry. My dirty chonies. <laughs> dummy of the day. Here we go. They cash big, bro. I'm saying though. Uh, Goat meat, yum. It's the Baker Boys, Eric V, Nick V, and Ari Rose. It's time for a dummy of the day because people love to do dumb things and give dumb excuses when they're pulled over by the cops. Has anybody ever used a lame excuse to try to get out of a speeding ticket here? No. 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 You just took it took it out, huh? Yeah, yeah, you take it. So laundry is being used as the excuse for speeding this time. Tulsa police Tulsa police say they stopped the driver yesterday on the Broken Arrow Expressway going 107 miles per hour. In a 65 MLP zone or MPH zone. Yeah. Mm. So the driver said that he and his friend <laughs> were there on their way to do their laundry. <laughs> right. Aww. He needed a lot more than a few quarters to pay the fine. Apparently, he was given a ticket for aggravated. Ag- I never heard of this. Aggravated speeding. <laughs> that requires a court <laughs> appearance and a fine up to $500 or 10 days in jail. Oh, mm. my oh, gosh. Oh, here's a bonus round for you guys. Ready? What? The driver also had a suspended license. What? Wah, 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 wah. Well, he's a total dummy. Suspended license, speeding, but... To get your laundry done, bro. Right. Come okay. on. Okay. You are the dummy of the day. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Thank you for that one. <laughs> or, is it Tulsa, Oklahoma? Or is it... Yeah, Tulsa. <laughs> I, I, for some reason, thought it was uh, my uh, Florida. All right. Um, it could be anything here. Mm. What the F news, dummy of the day, anything goes. What up, Ben? You over here switching right. uh, things one. up. Oh, wait, you said it's a, a rando. Okay. Yeah. It's the Baker Boys and Ari Rose on a Manifest Monday. Monday. Well, apparently living in a garage is now for the super rich. Oh. $85 million type rich. Say what? Okay. I'm going to tell you about this special garage. Garage living? Yeah. Wow. It's one of two jams. 100%, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. The Baker Boys. It is the Baker Boys and Ari Rose on a Manifest Monday. Now, I did hear that Apple started out of a garage. <laughs> you know, lots of famous, huge companies yeah. started out of garages. True. Mm-hmm. Well, once upon a time, broke college kids were the only garage dwellers, but a real estate developer in Manhattan just turned a grimy old parking garage into the city's hottest condo. Wow. The really? brick building near the water in Greenwich Village is still stuffed with old cars, motorcycles, and assorted junk, but buyers who've been promised amazing renovations to have already bought several units that will be carved out for a total of $100 million. The developers plan to keep the front look like it's still a garage because, quote unquote, privacy is important to celebrities who want it to look shabby. The remaining penthouse is said to be asking close to $85 million, according to people familiar with the situation. What city is this in? New York? New York, Manhattan. Uh, There you go. Congratulations to to the The developer developer (laughs) who said, you know what? We can make this money out of this. It's no longer just garages here. We can actually put people here and they'll pay for it. Yeah. No, seriously. Seriously. The location's got to be prime, too. Yeah, well, I mean, Greenwich Village, it's such a nice area with all this, uh, you know, it's, it's a nice area. Yeah. In Manhattan. Well, that's amazing. So th- we could probably do a lot more things like that with other places around the country, right? Yeah. Turn those Depends things. on where it's at. Yeah. I mean, I've heard Depends of, on the city. I've heard of people uh, buying their old high school gym and turn that into a living quarters for mm-hmm. a lot of different people. Yeah. There's all kinds mm-hmm. of, uh, what about malls? What's going to happen with these malls? Yeah, because all mm-hmm. the malls are closing. Maybe those can be turned into apartment complexes and live in um, arrangements where there's restaurants and there's yeah. uh, all kinds of other things. Yeah, in there. there's there's a lot of creative things to do. So. All right. Well, thank you very much for that story, Ari mm-hmm. Rose. Some manifest money. Baker Boys Daily. SF locals. What up, baby bear? Uh, let me see here. What am I gonna do here? See if I have something local that I want to do. Oh yeah, I have this bill. Here we go. It's 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. What up, y'all? All right. A California lawmaker introduced a bill yesterday yesterday that would no longer allow one company to be the first to sell tickets to a concert. 
All right. Mm. Assemblywoman Buffy Wicks claims prices have skyrocketed 140 percent since Ticketmaster and Live Nation merged in 2010. She believes more competition will change that. Ticketmaster says it supports its uh, supports reforms to improve ticketing, but doesn't think the first in the nation bill is the answer. Mm. What do you guys think? Well, I think everyone should have a fair shot as like, right. you know. Because then it's it's like when the sneakers go up on sale, and one person has access, they buy them all, and then they resell them for a higher price. Yeah, they they boost and them that, up. And that's a way to stop the fees from increasing and, and like uh, control the pricing on these tickets. Well, what other businesses are out there that are trying to sell tickets? Amazon. Who else? Uh, Amazon might. I'm Don't even say that out loud. I'm just because saying. they probably just heard you and you just gave them an idea. <laughs> I'm like, who's out there trying to take uh, control over the ticket selling market? You know, yeah. And especially these days. I mean, I know there was some um, big shows that happened, uh, like Taylor Swift and Beyonce, and they made a lot, a lot of money. But yeah. people are hurting out there. I mean, I, you remember Buster Rhymes? He canceled his. Yep. But now he's going back out uh, on tour with, with Missy. With Missy, Ciara. Oh, yeah, I saw. She's going to, uh, she's um, doing her first her tour, first headliner. headliner. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, we'll look forward to seeing how this changes right. for us as the consumers. Hopefully, just drops the prices. Sheesh. It's one of two jams. 100%, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. What up, Good Time Fest? Let's go off of that. Tixer. Tixer is another place where you can get those tickets. Okay. Thank you very Tixer. much for that. That's right. It's one of two jams. 100% throwbacks. Earlier, we were talking about the ticket prices and how much they have skyrocketed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If there was one ticket that you guys could purchase, it Ooh. don't matter how much it costs. I need you to tell me what is that concert? Michael Whoa. Jackson. MJ. Eric V. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. That's a good one. So it could be dead or alive? Dead or alive. Wow. MJ, she says, I say uh, James Brown. Ooh, what about a super show? Why don't we put together a holographic super show no not holographic well they're dead well, they're, they're not longer well, they're not longer with us if they weren't dead if they weren't dead what would, would our ideal concert look like all right fine i fine. might have to agree with uh panda he says prince prince, prince did a great amazing show Ooh, when I seen what about james brown prince M- michael MJ. jackson Jimi hendrix Ooh. Mm, can you it. imagine who else who else can that, we put that's on what that happens deal? every time somebody invites um, me to a concert i'm like yeah i don't really want to see anybody is it bad? I don't, that I don't it, get excited about anybody. I want to say Sade. Ooh, that's a good one too. Never right. seen her in concert before. No, I mean, can this woman just go on tour, please? I would pay <laughs> anything for that concert. Nirvana. Somebody said Nirvana. Mm. Right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So think about that. What ticket would you pay for no matter what the cost? I wonder how much of that ticket would be if like those people were alive and we put that concert together. Just sign over your life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here's the deed to my house. It's one or two jams. 100%, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. Hour number three. This is Baker Buzz. Eric V, you, t- you teased. Uh huh. All right, I'm doing uh, Eminem. Ari? I got, I think I want to do this. What up, one. Super the, super the DJ? Thank you for checking in on the IG. It's a Manifest Monday with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. Thanks for tuning on in. We have another Baker Boy. We have another Baker Buzz coming around the corner. Yes, a- Ava Marcel opens up about disabling her comments after people spoke about her weight loss. And Whoa. Eminem is producing a documentary about stands. We're talking about obsessed mm. fans. So he's uh, give, doing a call, a casting call. Oh, so, so people can come and actually get yeah. inside of it? Yeah, they got a whole questionnaire and everything. We'll talk about it in the Baker Buzz. Birthdays. What up, Jersey? Thank you, man. Do we have a birthday? Yeah. No, was there a birthday? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Baker Boys in the building. It is a Manifest Monday. Happy birthday going out to Mr. Funny Man, Seth Rogen. Oh, happy birthday. Any favorite Seth Rogen movies, anybody? Let me see. I'm trying to think. Uh, was it Knocked Up he was in? And uh, what other ones? Oh, Superbad. Was Superbad. Superbad, yeah. Mm-hmm. I heard that Superbad was rated as the number but, one comedy of yeah. all the most funniest. time. Funniest. The most funniest. It is definitely yeah. funny. Okay. The most funniest, though? I don't know about the most funniest. Congratulations, <laughs> Seth. You got a, one of the most funniest <laughs> movies of, of all, all time. time. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, homie. <laughs> Smoke one for the nation. All right. Uh, Baker Buzz, right? These. Nick V, Eric V, Baker Boys, along with Ari Rose. It's a Manifest Monday, and we have another Baker Buzz around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Ava Marcel is opening up about how she disabled her comments after people were talking a lot about her weight loss. And Eminem is issuing an open call to all his super fans called Stans. Yes, the upcoming documentary talking about obsessed fans. We'll talk about it in the Baker Buzz. It's 102 Jams. 100%, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. Are they seeing this? Say again. Let me Go change ahead. the capture. Oh, yeah, it's live. What did you say? No, I'm just making sure they, they're seeing. 
the background. This is okay. the Baker Buzz from Hollywood and beyond. We specifically said no. Yes, it's Nick V and Eric V, the Baker Boys, on a Manifest Monday. Now, we have people being bugged in their DMs about weight loss. So, Ava Marcel went through a divorce, okay? Um, and she went on the Tamron Hall show, and she talked about how she had to disable her comments for sanity after people were speaking about her weight loss. And so, I wanted to talk about this because I thought it was so important. She quoted, let me just tell you her words. She says, I lost weight just naturally going through life, and I found myself depressed. And, you know, I think people forget that everyone is a human being and we go through things. Yeah. You know, people want to blame it. They want to talk. They want to troll. And it's like, how sad is it that you're going through life? You're not even posting anything. Yeah. You're trying to take a photo and show something maybe that you're doing and people are trolling you because you're looking skinnier. Oh, are you sick? Yeah. And, and sometimes it's like, hey, guys, I'm just going through life. Right. I'm depressed. Right, right. I'm going through a divorce. Yeah, to be honest with you, I'm depressed. I'm divorced. I'm not having a, you know, I'm not yeah. eating right. I'm not eating correctly. Mm -hmm. So people are trolling her because of that. That's really, really sad. Like mm -hmm. you said, social media has a way of dragging people into yeah. your lives. But you, as somebody who's posting on social media, is also mm -hmm. inviting these things into mm -hmm. your life. So what do you do? You keep it quiet, stay, you know, on your own and mm -hmm. not worry about people, what they see, what they feel, and what yeah. they want to say about you. I think it's important for people to keep their opinions or their harsh criticism to themselves. That's you know? right. Yeah, that's and right. always think about like this lead with love. Exactly. Lead there, with love. there are times I want to respond and say something specifically to somebody, but then I double think it and I yeah. stop myself from saying anything mm -hmm. because I just I don't want to deal with it. You know what yeah. I mean? I just stay away from it for sure, know? one thousand percent, as much as I can. Anyway, mm -hmm. all right. That's a good um, information right there. Thank you very much for that. Oh, my fault. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've I, I does I dazed out. I'm sorry. And we're coming up, yeah, this is Eminem. Oh, yeah. And Eminem is issuing an open call to all his fans' upcoming documentary fans. So, producing a documentary about obsessed fans inspired by his song, his song "Stand." Fans have also uh, a chance to be featured on the documentary by filling out a questionnaire. Questionnaire, the documentary aims to explore the world of super fandom through Eminem's perspective. Oh, this have you ever been a super fan of a group or an artist or anything yes. in the past? Yes, New I Kids have. on the Block. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes, when I was little. All right. Wow. Who was cool. your favorite band member? And did you write any? Danny. Did you write to Danny. their fan club? Yeah, I used to have his posters on my wall. No way. Eric yeah. V, did you were a super fan of anything? Oh, man. Uh, sh back in the day, I was a super fan of like Adam Ant, remember? Wow. The 80s. How about that? Yeah. Did you ever join the fan club? Uh, no, I wasn't part of the fan club. <laughs> <laughs> I did not write to him. But our mom was a super fan of a lot of groups. Rick so James. She loved Rick, Rick James. Rick James. Evidently, I didn't even know this, that she <laughs> she would write him letters when he was in jail. No. Oh. I didn't know that. Mom was a pen pal. Yes. <laughs> Rick James. I had no idea. <laughs> now mom was super a pen pal. No super clue. Freak. She's super freaking. Yeah. My, my sister told me that. I was like, what? That's amazing. <laughs> That's nuts. So yeah, I I've never talk. written anybody a letter. Nope. <laughs> well, there's your Baker Buzz. Thanks for tuning in. We are the Baker Boys and she is Ari Rose. Immature. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Let dad, there's a Niner hat. Yeah, we're actually playing. Oh yeah. I should have melted by this hat. Get that away from me. Damn uh, what's next, darling? SF? SF Locals. Okay. Uh, I did have something I wanted to talk about here. Wait, was it? Oh. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. I got something here. Um, all right. Go ahead. Good morning. It's the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks. All right. We knew it was bound to happen. California's favorite burger chain raises its price amid the minimum uh, wage increase. We're talking about in and out Yeah. Mm, no. Yes. And they haven't raised their price in a long time. A long Jesus. time, bro. <laughs> so... How do you guys feel that about them? That bums me out. It's worth it. It's worth it. Those people that are in there working, they're A off, sweating and making sure your burger is the right way, all right. your special ways. They're getting paid a little bit more, and they're able to take that home and maybe put it back into the community. Mm. Well, listen, my nephew worked at In-N-Out maybe about three or four years ago, maybe even more. Who knows? And he was making, I want to say, like $22 an hour. Right, back then, right? Back then. Oh, so they're paid very well there pay very well and they have benefits and they kept their prices low like they are one company that 
to me, feels care like of their people. they take care of the people and they're right. not greedy. Right. You know, you go to other companies, not going to mention no names, even though the hash browns are three ninety nine now. <laughs> There's nothing on their dollar <laughs> menu. You pay $20 for a dang meal, number nine now, and... <laughs> Well, there's a sign right there. Don't go to that company anymore. Yes, and no. Go to the company and take care of their in and out, Which is why their lines are always long. And their food is always fresh. There's fresh, no freezers. It's so good. There's no freezers in there. And they source their food the, the way they... So the, how you do business is you get good sources, you pay yeah. a minimal amount, and then you up the price. So mm -hmm. these guys have been doing very good business for many, many years. Yes, you guys got to follow the Costco motto. Like Panda Con Carne on Twitch right now says, if they raise the price of the Costco hot dog, we riot. <laughs> I agree. I agree. <laughs> Make the boys in the morning, one or two jam. 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. Uh, SF local. I got something I can use here, right here. <laughs> Good morning, Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. One or two jams. Yo, shout out to Pharrell Williams. So he's aiming to grant $1 billion to black and Hispanic entrepreneurs by 2030. So he just released a surprise album or whatever, Black yeah. Yacht Rock yeah. album, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. But he has a nonprofit. It's funded by uh, Pharrell Williams, recently awarded $3.2 million to 36 entrepreneurs and by 2023, or at its 2023 demo day, the organization has helped over 5,000 businesses and awarded wow. a, awarded already approximately 10 million to finalists. So he's aiming to to give out like close to a billion dollars, you know, in the future yeah. to black That's and amazing. Hispanic entrepreneurs, and this is That's so beautiful. needed. That yes. is so beautiful. I you love know? that. Yeah. Thank you for real inspiration to all. Yeah. Maybe you could do it too. I know there's somebody out there with a lot of money. Do something with it, man. And, and you know what? Like, even if you don't have money to help entrepreneurs, uh, you know, get ahead, if you are an expert in your field or you have been somewhere before somebody else is trying to, like, pay, you know, pave the way for them, reach your hand back out, help people out, get mentor them, guide them, give them the skills that they need. There's enough for everybody, guys. Yeah. Like, Thank you. Pay it forward. Absolutely. One or two jams. 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. Shout out to Charity Love. Hey, Charity Girl. She said, this is so dope. Can't believe I'm watching and listening to the Baker Boys. Been a fan <laughs> since the 90s. I got something. So Eric much v. love. Every you start. This yep. is our number four top. Okay. It's the local or? No, nope, this national. is national. Right. It's the Baker Boys Daily on a Manifest Monday along with Ari Rose. What up? All right. Shout out to this DJ. He is going to be DJing while <laughs> running the marathon. He is going for Wait. a Guinness World Record. What? So not only am, are, am I a DJ, but I also ran a marathon. Yes. But I ne would never think about doing DJing well, while running the marathon. we need you to do this. Yeah, right. Coming up next, we're going to tell you who he is. It's Baker Boys Daily. The fuck? <laughs> Catch the Baker Boys Daily on Twitch.tv. Eric V, Nick V, and Ari Rose on your radio on a Manifest Monday. So we're talking about a DJ that's going to be DJing. DJing while running a marathon? That's right. Is that what it is? Jersey runner Gus Frazier aims to complete the 26-mile race on uh, the 12th of April, which is what? The hell? That's tomorrow. What? Yeah. Whoa. Or is that today? That's No, it's already no. passed. Yeah, it passed. Okay. Already passed, brother. No, that's today's Feel Good Friday. No, it's Manifest Monday. We're doing Monday, Monday, brother. Okay, cool. So it just passed. <laughs> so let's scratch that story, right? Yeah. No, no. Okay. Baker Boys. Baker Boys, Eric V, Nick V, and Ari Rose. What up, meow? What up, y'all? All right, so Jersey runner Gus Frazier aims to complete the 26-mile race while mixing. He's going to be DJing to raise $100,000 for wow. cancer research in the U.K. The fundraiser is a memory of his father who passed away from pancreatic Aww. cancer. This run is more than just a record attempt. It's a personal crusade against cancer, a disease that affects one in two people today. Yeah. So he's a DJ, and he's a marathoner, and he's running and DJing at the same time. 26 miles! That's I think awesome. what you guys should do is, like, you should put Eric in a stroller <laughs> while he DJs. <laughs> you push him while you run. Oh, oh but I push him? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you're, you you're got better the bigger legs. You're in better shape than I am. Yeah, and he DJs, <laughs> and then you have a head headset with the mic and you host the show while you guys run that's a really good idea ari rose you, dude yeah you come up with the the system or yeah the and cart. i will like um get it I'll sponsored like, 
I'll get it sponsored. And bring your dog too, so they can run. Yes. <laughs> and then like I'll be like on a golf cart right next to you guys, like with water and stuff. Well, Panacon panic Carney says like a rickshaw. <laughs> yes, exactly. Man, I feel like a mule now. You know, you're gonna put me in this situation. Well, congratulations to that man right there. Yeah. You're what, gonna do great, Nick. It, what an inspiration. Why don't you help me out? Both of us do. It's a Baker Boy show and Ari Rose. We can tap in and tap out. <laughs> you do the first mile, I'll do the second mile. You guys wow. know how I weigh like 240 pounds, right? Yeah. Okay. You're going to have to lose some weight before we do this. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to put you on all grape diet. Thank you, boys, daily. Two SF locals. All right. I got uh, zip codes real quick. I'm going to shout these out. Yo. What go. up, Henry, Henry Helix? Checking in. Thank you. It's the Baker Boys and I, bros, in the building. One or two jams, 100% throwback. Throw Shout out to 9458994. 94803 and 95111. Yeah. Hey, when you guys were little, was there a name that you wish your name would have been? <laughs> a name no. that you wish your like, name would have been? Like, have you always liked your name being I, Eric? Wait, weren't you supposed to be named something else? Yeah, I else? was supposed to be named something else. Thank God what I was wasn't. Your name? It was going to be Demetrius. <laughs> I am not a Demetrius. I'm Eric per fits me very perfect. It's very simple and very plain. <laughs> so, it, it, Mom, you made a great choice. Thank you for renaming me and not naming me Do you Demetrius. have a middle name? No. It's just Eric. Yeah, it's just Eric. What about you? No, nothing. Just, just Nick. Nicholas is perfect for me as Actually, well. Actually, Nicholas is his name, not Nick. Nicholas Vito. No middle names. We didn't have any yeah, middle names. Yeah, we didn't names. have middle names. Zena didn't have really? one either. He tried to really it. Americanize us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... Um, wait, so you, there wasn't a name that you wish you could have gone by when you were little? I don't or think so. Or a different so. name? No, I don't think so. I always wanted my name to be Lola. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know why. Where did that Thank come from? God. You can make that your bedroom name. It is. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Find her on OnlyFans now, Lola. Lola Rose. Lola, Lola San Jose. Lola Eastside. It's the Baker Boys Daily. Nick V, Eric V, Ari Rose. One or two jams. 100% throwbacks. Right. What up, girls rule? All right, I got something, Eric V, you start. All right. It's a Manifest Monday with the Baker Boys right here on your radio. 102 jams, 100% throwbacks. Thanks for tuning in to the Baker Boys. Now, Eric V has taken up golfing again. Yes, I Woo! have. Congratulations. Uh, I went for the second time in like the last two weeks. The yeah. first week was terrible. After mm. five holes, I was exhausted. <laughs> so now you made it to six? No, no. I did. I, I, I played uh, 16 holes both Ooh. times. But the second time, I was good. Like, I didn't get tired. We could have finished, but there was two groups in front of us that were really slow. And I was like, you know, I'm not shooting a great round. Let's just go eat lunch you right now. You just called it. Yeah, we mm. called it. We it's called it. It's usually 18 rounds. Yeah, 18, 18 holes. 18 holes. Yeah, 18 holes. So maybe you should do what Tiger does, Eric V. Oh, God. Tiger Woods has a self-imposed sex ban for the Masters. Oh, yeah, I'm, no, I'm not doing that. He reveals to a friend <laughs> that uh, as a 15-time major winner, it sharpens his focus, and he does that until the tournament is over. So maybe you should just do yeah. a sex ban until you do your golf. Well, haven't you no heard sex. this before that, like, Athletes are not supposed to have sex before a big sporting yeah. event. Yeah, isn't it in their contract? Uh, I don't know if it's in their contract. No, I don't think they put that in there, but they're supposed to be mm -hmm. like boxers or self-imposed yep. that they don't have sex because mm -hmm. it, it takes a lot out of you. You got to save your legs. <laughs> you got to save it. It's the Baker Boys in the Morning Time, 102 Jams. 100% throwbacks. All right. This Nickelodeon. Is <laughs> the last. What are we doing? This is uh, the last hour number four. The last. I got something for. The last um, break or? Yeah, the last two breaks, Eric V. Okay. We're going to do a tease uh, and then we're going to do a payoff. Uh, okay, I got a uh, What the F News here. Nick V, Eric V, the Baker Boys. Eric V has a What the F News story. Well, it's usually called the happiest place on earth, but not so happy on this day. A Disney World brawl erupts after a patron mocks a guest with Down syndrome. No, oh, dude. No. We're going to tell you what happened to him, though. One or two jams. 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. All right, it's a What the F news time. The Baker Boys in the building along with Ari Rose. This is crazy right here. In an incident, in, in an incident at Disney World's Bellevue Lounge located in the Boardwalk Inn, Brent George, a 61-year-old Florida man, was arrested for a dispute escalated into a violence, uh, physical violence. As the Orange County Sheriff's Office reported, the alter altercation took place on January 25th when George, under the influence of alcohol, engaged in the confrontation who reportedly uh, after reportedly mocking a woman with Down syndrome. Mm -mm. That's terrible in general, right? 
So George faces four counts of battery stemming from the incident, which occurred shortly after 9 p.m. Upon arrival, police officers found George with facial in injuries, which he claimed were being caused by uh, glass cups. So that's crazy. So he mocked um, a little girl uh, with Down syndrome, a woman. a woman with Down syndrome. Yeah. And then while being in intoxicated in Disney World. But then they then people beat him up for yeah. doing it. Yeah, people were people were confronting him, and, and uh, there was a phys physical exchange and the whole thing at Disney World. So no more liquor. I'm, I'm saying though, right? Keep the well, alcohol out of Disney World. Well, Disneyland. I always wonder like why there is liquor allowed at because these. it takes a lot to deal with these kids, homie. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> wow. So you blame it to kids now? <laughs> I'm saying wow. it takes a lot out of a human being to deal with any one, two, four children, it, including a husband or a wife, all day long in the sun. It is a difficult task. <laughs> Oh, but there's still, yeah, people, you guys are like in a public place with children and like, keep it to a, keep it cute. A low keep it classy. roar. It's called a low roar. Okay. Yeah. You got the kids. Wait till you put them asleep and then you can have your little fun. Right. right. After hours. Baker Boys Daily. That's going to wrap it up for today's show. We love you. Have a beautiful, blessed and powerful day. We'll be back tomorrow for Terrific, Terrific Tuesday. Tuesday. Right here on the Baker Boys Daily. Um, let's see. What did I do? National. I needed. Just do that. What you just mine. did. Directly. All right. All right. I have one, too. All right, cool. You, too. Here we go. Wait, never wanted it, but here we go. The Boys with your daily fix of fun. Tune on in to the Baker Boys Daily for a Manifest Monday. Was that me? Anybody. Okay, my fault. Okay. All right, well, the happiest place on earth was not so happy on this day. A Disney World brawl erupts after a patron mocks a guest with Down syndrome. Not good. And once upon a time, broke college kids were the only ones living in garages. Well, now, apparently, that is changing, and it is for the super rich. Ooh. It's the Baker Boys with your daily fix of fun. It's one or two jams, the number one for one or two jams, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. Tune into the Baker Boys daily because we're talking about a Disney World brawl that erupts after a patron mocks a guest with Down syndrome. What a jerk. And if you're living in a garage, don't feel bad anymore because apparently now it is for the super rich. One or two jams, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. Switch a Marquise. What up? What up, Big Mike One? Okay, like yep. One, two, three. You got the major promo, right, B? Yes, I Four, do. Four, five, six. Oh, <laughs> I got like six things oh, cool. for Katie. So what are we gonna be? All right, good? we'll just pick. Yeah. Yeah. Got a bunch of good stuff. Okay, and then do the OG thing again mm -hmm. for Katie. Mm-hmm. If you want to do that one. No, it's it's oh, fine. No. You can do it. I mean, we're all. Just I, mean, I can in. tell an OG story. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. I could tell an OJ story one time that happened to me. Oh, yeah, we can do that. We can just say, like, rest, rest in, you know, earlier this week. OJ. As a magic key holder, oh, no, going to yesterday. Disneyland around 6.30 p.m. is hilarious. Parents are pissed off. The kids are crying. And and just me living my best life I eating you. a churro. I told you. He said, it's damn kids. You got to have liquor. I told you. All right, here we go. It's right. K-Day. Nine eight three five K Day Hip Hop back, back in the day. day. The Baker Boys are in the building. Thanks for tuning on in. Coming up at nine o'clock, it's the Baker Boys Hip Hop Master Mix. Three hours long, three hours strong. Also, listen all weekend long for your tickets to see Crush Goo So Cows. Only true hip hop concert. We're we'll gonna give you that information coming up as well. And Little Rod alleges to having recordings of Diddy admitting to crimes. Oh boy, man, that two H tip, man, that two H tip, that two H. Two inch. The two inch tape don't lie. No. <laughs> what two inch tip? <laughs> no, two inch tape. tape. It's, it's, a, it's a studio, studio joke. <laughs> studio joke. What Sorry. up, Marco? <laughs> All right, so let's do the uh, crush two group. inch tape. Oh, crush group. Oh, let's hold on to the crush. Okay, group. that's fine. Let's talk about the Diddy thing. Ninety three five K Day Hip Hop back in the day as the Diddy turns, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> right. You said Little Rod has something else. He's coming yeah, out. Yeah. Apparently, he's saying that he has recordings of the mogul admitting to crimes, also pressuring artists to sign record deals, inappropriate sex acts. Um, he says that he. Diddy shared with him how he would get things done by force. The record deal, signatures on contracts, sex acts from women and men, as well as the woman of his enemies. He bragged about departed attorney Johnny Cochran's savvy legal skills and the ability to pay off the witnesses through private investigators and other third parties. I mean, the list just keeps going on, guys. Yeah. yeah. He keeps on digging himself deeper Sheesh. and deeper. 
And uh, if this is real, he has all of this audio recording. I mean, there really is no yeah. question in regards to his business practices. Mm, it is so crazy. He even uh, came out and said that there's like anonymous accounts overseas in Germany and that uh, it's very common practice in the music industry. That way, if there's ever a need to take care of a problem, it would never be traced back to him. Oh, wow. Yeah, all right. I so, mean. Well, the Diddy's 50 laws of power, apparently. Sheesh. Are... <laughs> Diddy's tower is crumbling down. That's what's happening there. Yes, it is. All right. Thank you for that, Ari Rose. It's the Baker Poison Ari Rose on a Friday night, 93.5 K-Day. Hip-hop Hip -hop back, back in, in the day. day. All right. We'll do Crush Groove, Crush Groove now. What up, Flip Flop? Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building, 93.5 K-Day Hip Hop back, back in, in the day. day. Let's talk about Crush Groove, though. Yeah, man. Of course, K-Day's Crush Groove. It's SoCal's only true hip hop concert, classic hip hop concert. Woo! All going down at the iconic Kia Free... Um, all going down at the iconic Kia Forum on Saturday, 420. Who's going to be on stage? We got Ice Cube featuring Dub C. We got E-40, Too Short, Mac-10, Exhibit, J-Rock, Scarface, Cali Swag District, of course, Jail Felony, and Plus Special special surprise guest it's a lineup you don't want to miss grab your tickets now at ticketmaster.com get your tickets before they sell out of course listen to k-day all weekend long text the keyword k-day right now to 68683 for your chance to win all being brought to you by the station giving you the best concerts in socal 93.5 k-day hip-hop back in the day and being brought to you by big al hurt injured in an accident call big al call big al at 1-800-HURT yeah. call big al at hurt Shit, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Call Big Al at 1 800 Hurt 123. That's it. All right, there it is. Tito's at home, man. <laughs> Baker Boys on a Friday night, 93.5 K-Day, hip-hop back, back in the day. day. Ari Rose in the building. What's cracking, girl? Well, Usher has been named as Essence's mag... Wait. Usher has been named as Essence Magazine's final pick for the sexiest man of the moment. Oh, snap. Go, Usher. Essence. Yeah. Essence went on to Instagram to say, we call him U-S-H-E-R. R-A-Y-M-O-N-T, <laughs> also known as as the sexiest man of the moment. Usher Raymond has always been at the center of culture, so let's set the tone like a vocal coach because we are currently screaming out falsettos. I mean, this guy looks amazing. He has 30 plus years in the industry. This singer has become busier and hotter than ever. Just you came know, out the Super Bowl halftime. Yeah, and his residency. I mean, he's been killing it and, you know. And congratulations, congratulations to Usher. Congratulations to him. He's come a long way. We actually interviewed Usher in his like teenage years, Eric. Do you remember? Yeah, a long time ago. Fresh out of Flavor Camp. Yep. Oh, wow. Make me stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, listen, if you're an Usher Raymond fan, go check out Essence. Uh, he is looking really nice in a Nick, body of water. Nick B trying to throw Diddy into everything Congratulations, right now. <laughs> Usher. You've made it out alive. It's one of oh two. My God. It's the Baker Boys, 93.5 K-Day. Hip-Hop Hip -hop back, back in the, in the day. day. Hilarious. I can't. Um, I got another one. Here we go. 93.5 K-Day Hip Hop back, back in the day. day. Thank you, boys and Ari Rose on a Friday night. How y'all feeling out there? Good. We're feeling okay, man. Uh, we got to announce some news. Of course, OJ has passed. Oh, We're yes. talking about that. He uh, was battling cancer. I did not know he was battling Silently. cancer. Yeah, 76 years old. How, how old was he? 76. 76 years old. Okay. That's not That's not that old. You know, no, what I mean? no, it's still no, young. No, 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 no. Yeah. And uh, also shout out to uh, rest in peace to Mr. C yeah, as well. DJ who Mr. Away. C, yeah. legendary DJ from New York City, also was a DJ for mm -hmm. Notorious B.I.G. So we have a couple OJ stories here. One story was we were working in Miami on the air and OJ, you know, after the case, he had mm -hmm. settled down in Florida. And mm -hmm. evidently OJ was at one of the comedy nights we were hosting uh -oh. over there. Uh -oh. And he evidently uh, our producer at the time, J. Love was trying to get him on the show with us. Oh, no, no to way. Come to the show. And honestly, I was a little scared. I was like, really? I don't know if I want OJ in the show, you bro. Know, you know what's crazy? <laughs> I have an OJ story. I was in Vegas and I was with my girlfriends. We were all drinking. I forgot what hotel we were at, but we're going to like this rooftop bar and I'm walking. It was like a small hallway and like I stopped. I think it was on my phone and someone puts their hands like on my waist, oh, like, you know, kind of like, excuse me, like trying to move through. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh, no problem. They were like, oh, excuse me. I was like, oh, of course. I turned on. It was OJ. And I was like, oh, it's OJ. <laughs> <laughs> hands of a killer. Yeah. Oh, my God. You had the gloves on your hips. Huh? <laughs> I was like, so that's my OJ story. All right, I got one more OJ story. It was a golf tournament in Miami. OK. I was at said golf tournament. All right. So. In the golf tournament, there's a lot of different uh, contests they have. Okay. Closest to the pin, 
hole in one. You can win a car on this uh -huh. hole, whatever. And one of the holes, I won the long drive contest. Okay. So, so that meant I hit it the farthest on that specific hole. Okay. I won the prize. Okay. Okay. And I remember going up there to win the prize, and OJ looked at me. <laughs> Like I stole something from him. <laughs> and I was like, it, it was an uncomfortable <laughs> stare. <laughs> it was a really uncomfortable glare at me. And I was like, no, oh, bro. It so sounds like I you've got, been scared of OJ your I whole got, life. I got to watch my back around so, this guy. So it sounds like both of you guys survived OJ. Yeah. Oh and you survived gosh. Diddy. And I survived <laughs> Diddy. All right. For those who do not know my survival Diddy story. Well, let's tell that coming up. It's coming up next. Ooh. Stay tuned. 93.5 93 K to Hip Hop back in the day. <laughs> It's the Baker Boys on a Friday night, 93.5K to Hip Hop back in the day. Baker Boys, Eric V, Nick V, and we're talking about survival stories of ours from the industry. Or, you know, I survived OJ at a golf tournament. He just passed. And uh, also, Nick V is going to bring up his I Survived Diddy story. This is uh, like story. 2005. Yeah. We're, we're in Miami. I don't know. He's promoting the... Uh, Biggie duets. Remember, they they redid a bunch of yeah. Biggie songs and a bunch of people remixed them and stuff like that. I don't know how we connected. Had maybe at the studio at the uh, rec at the, the radio station. Anyway, he invited me to come out with him one night. Yeah. Little did I know that I was on the edge of perhaps Meek Milling. You know what I mean? Oh, bro, I, come on. After hearing all these things that have been coming out. <laughs> I am so of. I'm happy that I survived that night. First of all, I want to tell you, you're not his flavor of meat. You Apparently. know, apparently, and this is what pisses <laughs> me off. Did that offend you? It pisses me off now. <laughs> now that I think about it more, because I I want to file a lawsuit against Diddy. No, Why not everybody else? You don't say me? that. You don't want to be sodomized just so you can file a lawsuit, Nick. Me, come on. What the hell's wrong with you? Listen, me and my wife were talking about this. She's no. like, you guys didn't tell him how pissed off you guys you are for no. not being a victim. <laughs> oh my god, no. he is upset that he is not, not Diddy's type. That is he, hilarious. He is kidding. I know that. He's I know kidding, he's bro. kidding. But okay. This is so Come funny. On, it's hilarious because I mean, just after all these things are coming out, I am just so happy. Yeah. I, I feel like I am anointed. I am protected <laughs> by the Lord Himself because oh, I was man. in close confines with this person, and there was a caravan there was clubs there was after parties there was uh, brandy was there usher was there wow. i'm like all of these people that i was around hanging around this one particular night and there was an after party we went to uh club space in miami Ooh. uh and then rest in peace uh dj uh eric uh passed away recently eric v. i Who's hope that? they'll give you know his name eric marillo oh marillo he passed away well, he passed away that. a couple years back wow. but he was diddy's friend and so Diddy was really heavy into the house music scene. Oh I never God. knew why. Hilarious. I never knew, but we we went to the uh, actual DJ booth. So we were invited into the DJ booth, uh -huh. and there's this big horn at a certain time. You've probably never been to space before, Ari Rose, <laughs> but in Miami, it's a dance club, okay? It's EDM. It's all night long. There's all kinds of drugs and all kinds Where of- Where all the degenerates, all, degenerates go after the, the other clubs. The oh. party people go there, okay, <laughs> till the sun comes up. <laughs> But there's this one horn. It's like a horn from a damn uh, Amtrak. Right. So at a certain time in the house music scene, all the smoke comes down and the horn, you blow the horn. Right. It, Diddy invited me to blow that horn. Oh, oh boy. Oh, my God. Goodness. And I am so happy. Just be that glad it wasn't a different exactly. horn. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord. It's like, ring the alarm. I am a believer. I am protected. It's 93.5 K Day Hip Hop back, back in the day. day. I am not a victim. Oh Blow the whistle. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. Two more. All right. Let's go. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Start. 93.5K to hip hop back in the day. It's the Baker Boys on a Friday night. Of course, coming up <laughs> at 9 o'clock, the hip hop master mix. Eric V and Nick V get down on the one or two. Why are you laughing over here? Because the, the chat, what? Nick V blew the horn. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it cannot. Oh, God. Well, shout out to uh, Ja Rule, who attended this week a groundbreaking ceremony for classrooms he is helping to build in Ghana. Ooh, that's dope. Yeah, in partnership with Pencils of Promise. So that is really cool. Uh, the ceremony for the construction of new classrooms for Nuaso Angelican Primary School, which he is working on in partnership with Pencils of Promise. So that's super cool. You know, shout out to him for doing that, taking a, a step into helping other helping countries others. and Being helping of people service. less yep. fortunate. Yeah. Right. We need some of that here in America as well. So let's break some ground here. Yeah. Like All I right. always say, like help people that are in need and... Um, 
When you bless others, the blessings come back tenfold. Tenfold, baby. Mm-hmm. It's 93.5 K-Day. Hip-hop, Hip-hop back, back in, in the day. day. All right, that's it. All right. Baker Boys on a Friday night, 93.5 K-Day, Hip Hop back in the day. We always have a good time here on Friday nights. And it's always fun when the Hip Hop Master Mix comes up because we get on the one or two turntables for three hours long. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. I will be on the decks. Nick V will be on the decks. And guess what, Ari? I am going to play a 50 Cent song. Sure. Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to play Window Shopper, okay? <laughs> good song. All right, that's it. all coming up next. Nick V, Eric V, Ari Rose. Have a beautiful, blessed evening, baby girl. 93.5 K-Day. Hip Hop back, back in, in the day. day.